Hi guys, it's Marcy Holstein. Um, I'm going to teach you guys today how to um, make a doodle event, which um, usually people make when you, it's an online scheduling tool and you can select dates and times to meet with like a, a group of people. Um, so first you want to open your browser, which mine's already open. I'm going to add a tab and we're going to go to doodle.com. The good thing about this website is you don't need a login, you don't need a username or a password, so it's not something else you need to remember or write down. Um, you can use it for anything. So we want to schedule an event and start off with a title. So you would mainly use this website for maybe um, uh, like a group project if you're meeting with a lot of people in your class. Location could be University of Louisiana at Lafayette. And description, go over a topic of group project. Um, you'll put in your name, so Marcy Holstein, and your email address for people to get in touch with you. And so that, um, as you can see, you'll receive the link to administer the, your poll at the email address. Um, so that when people do respond to your doodle, it'll go straight to this email account. So make sure you put in an email account that you would want them to contact you at. So you press next um, and your time proposals and you can select any date that you want. So today is the 26th. Let's say we want to meet on the 28th of Wednesday. Um, and you can select multiple days if you'd like, but we're just going to select on Wednesday because we had talked about previously in class that we would meet on a Wednesday. Um, and here on Wednesday, you can select a time, time one. So like your first preferable time that you would want everyone to meet would be 12 p.m. And then your second time would be 6 p.m. And then you can also put a third time. Oops. And your third time, um, you can be maybe 8 o'clock in case someone has a job, can't make it, whatever. And you can also make more time slots if you don't think that um, anyone would be, be able to make it during that time. Um, once you're done with that, you can press Next. Uh, if you're just doing a basic basic poll, you can just press next, but I'm going to show you certain settings that you can add, um, which these are good for depending on who you're sending this to or what the reason you're sending it to is. Um, yes, no. Yes, no. If need be, poll is um, just an easy yes, I can go. No, I can't go during this time. It's the easiest one for your participants, as it says, a hidden poll, um, confident, confidential participation. So once a person votes on it, no one else can see um, except for you. Um, and then a participant can only choose one option. By default, all options are selectable. Um, so they can't choose multiple times, which, I mean, for my group project, this wouldn't be beneficial. And then limit number of participants per option. This would be beneficial if you were doing a class, um, say at a gym or something, and you um, could only let so many people in at a certain time. So those times, it'll stop at the limit at 12 o'clock, say, and then participants will have to pick another time if that works for them. So we're going to say yes, no, if need be, poll. Um, sharing settings so decide who can participate in your poll so everyone with a link can participate or only invited people can participate so this way um, everyone with a link can participate is one that you would preferably use for um, if you wanted people to be able to share the event that um, in case you forget someone so you would type in an email address, 
which I'll just type in my and then that's one and then you can add a personal message if you'd like and then once you press finish um, it'll send to all the people that you've listed in your typed emails and it'll come up in their emails and they can tell you yes or no whether they are participating in it or not so that's all thanks